Peering through window blinds while sitting at his office desk, Duncanville High football coach Reginald Samples has a perfect view of Panther Stadium, which has a seating capacity of nearly 11, 000 and pristine all-weather turf. He's asked to describe Texas high school football. Football in Texas is a big deal. The atmosphere is a frenzy, he said Thursday during a typical 90-degree summer day. Texas is known for everything being bigger there, flags, bridges, brisket. Nothing, though, comes close to high school football, where state championships are played at the 80 000 c Tan Stadium in Arlington. Allen High plays in a $62 million stadium that featured future Heisman Trophy winner Kyler Murray playing quarterback on three Class 5 A state championship teams while the city of McKinney features a $70 million municipal stadium for its three high schools. Allen has eight, 500 season ticket holders and reserves one, 000 seats for its marching band, drill team and color guard. Duncanville has a 400 member band. There are high emotions because of the rivalries of the teams, Samples said. Enter Santa Ana Mater Day and Bellflower St. John Bosco, the top two teams in California. Mater Day is serving as Duncanville's season opening opponent Friday night, and St. John Bosco has booked its own trip to Dallas for August 26, 2022, against an opponent to be announced. Could this be the start of an expanded relationship between California and Texas? Mater Day agreed June 25 to play at Duncanville, when both were searching for opponents to play this week. Trinity League powers Mater Day and St. John Bosco, one of which has appeared in the Southern Section Division I championship game annually since 2013, combining for five titles, routinely have trouble filling their non-league schedules. They have to be willing to come to California, St. John Bosco coach Jason Negro said. It's going to have to be a two-way street. One problem. Texas powerhouse teams are mostly public schools that make too much money filling their own large stadiums to make costly trips to California. Most top teams that have traveled to Texas from California have been private schools. In 2014, La Puente Bishop Amat went to Alito, the defending state 5A champion, and won 42-7. The team received a stipend from Alito to help with expenses. Coach Steve Haggerty remembers his team traveling on a bus in the middle of nowhere. It's flat. It's a desert, he said. We pull up and my goodness, it's better than any stadium we've ever played in. I remember our film crew of three students. They're eating food between plays. Anything they want. The fun is there's expectations. You think it's going to be great and it was awesome. In 2015, Concord de La Salle went to Euless Trinity as the no. One team in the nation and lost 26-21. Coach Justin Allenbaugh said the experience exceeded expectations. He said his wife required 30 minutes just to get through a massive tailgate party before the game.